Big Bird almost died in space. Why space? In 1986, NASA was preparing to send the Challenger space shuttle into space to orbit the Earth. The original plan was to launch a communications satellite and also study Halley's Comet. Oddly enough, every time comets come into play, everyone thinks it's the end of the world. Quick fact, there are written observations of Halley's Comet as far back as ancient Babylon. Anyway, the Challenger flight was going to be a huge deal. It ended up being one anyway, but for a very different reason than they hoped for. So they wanted to cram as much as they possibly could into that one trip. So aside from launching the satellite, studying Halley's Comet, they were also thinking this was a great opportunity to teach children about space. And who better to teach children about space than our beloved, beloved Big Bird. Big Bird first appeared in 1969 and was an instant hit and became a pillar of Sesame Street. And for decades, fun, love, and super nice Big Bird was the one who taught children, including myself, things like how to count, how to never blink, how to cope with the horrors of elephant titus in your feet, how to deal with a garbage person who's always angry and yells at you for no reason. Another quick fact, my nickname was Oscar the Grouch when I was growing up. When Jim Henson created Big Bird, his primary character trait was that he was wide-eyed and wanted to always be learning. So learning about space made sense. Plus, in 1985, one year before the Challenger mission, Big Bird's movie Follow That Bird had just come out and it was a massive hit. And Follow That Bird just happened to be about a road trip that Big Bird goes on and visits all kinds of places and learns all kinds of things. I watched that movie over and over again and I'll never forget laying on my living room carpet with a tombstone, pizza, and bluebell ice cream. Some of the best memories. Oh hey, since you're watching, why not hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications? I got some great videos coming out. Anyway. It all made sense. So NASA put all these things together and thought, who better to teach children about space than Big Bird? And Carol Spinney, who played Big Bird from 1969 all the way to 2018, shared in the documentary about his life, I Am Big Bird, how NASA wrote him and asked him if he would be interested in going into space to orbit around Earth and teach children about it. However, this invitation never extended beyond that because once they realized that Big Bird's costume was eight feet, two inches tall, they realized it was much too big to go on the shuttle and had to cancel the invitation. Instead, he was replaced by teacher Krista McAuliffe. The plan was for Krista to become the very first teacher from space, teaching children live about space from the shuttle itself. This would have been a mind-blowing thing to happen. Millions of children would have tuned in to watch this. And unfortunately, that never happened because just 73 seconds into the Challenger's launch, some of the O-ring seals were loosened from the drastic temperature change and caused the explosion on the Challenger, killing all seven members on board on January 28th, 1986. You can still go on NASA's website today and find Krista's notes and practice video lessons. And I'll put a link to that in the description below. Now that was an absolutely tragic mission. Horrible that those people died on there. But can you imagine if Big Bird had gone on the Challenger, how that would have affected so many children? There would be a whole lot of children needing therapy after that one, that's for sure. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.